Bell Mechanic here. So today it's new tool day. You can see the crate is empty. And what do we have? There it is. It has arrived. PM932M in all its glory. Nice little machine. So I ordered the bare bones machine. It is just basically the minimum you can order to still be a mill. Uh, no DRO, no power feeds, none of that fancy stuff because we are going to put motors on here and convert this to a CNC. See, there's not even a control box on this side. It just has a wire coming out for power. And you got your motor switch right there. Got your high, low, different gears. So pretty impressed so far with the machine. Um, it looks to be in pretty good condition. It looks like it was painted. I don't know what spray paint. We got some overspray on that. Yeah, well, it was a paintbrush. Look, we got some paint there, some drops here. So it's yeah, kind of what you expect coming from China, I guess. Um, does appear to have some scraped ways just for the oil. I don't think they're scraped to be precision, but anyway, this is uh, one step closer. So now what we got to do is build a stand for it because this is all I have so far. This and the uh, controller. So let's uh, get some steel, take some measurements, see what I want to do. Build a stand. All right. New day. What we got here, we got some steel. So this is going to be our stand. And here's my crude drawing I drew going to basically be super simple it's going to have four uprights uh, some cross members and then the mill is going to sit up here uh, there's going to be a cross member here here and then with that angle there's going to be little uh, tabs that come off with holes in them that will be secured uh, with these holes right here and uh, the mill will sit on top of that but this pile of steel look at this $481. Good Lord. Why is steel so expensive? Anyway, so uh, what I got to do is clean up all these pieces. Okay. Hello. And uh, grind the ends of them. Uh, give me a nice bevel for my welds and start welding it. So let's get that going. All right. I made some progress on this. I got it laid up on my welding table. I figured I'd show you guys just... Uh, Kind of what I've been doing. Um, I've already made one side here. And what this is, is this side. And then this side's this right here. Um, anyway, you can see how I clamped it. Got it all square and welded it and then flipped it around and welded that. So now that I got the sides here, I need to weld the, uh, the cross members like that. So, um, But just a little tip. When you do a butt joint like this, can't really see do a bunch of like that um so anyway, let me show you in the other piece so anyway, when you do a butt joint like this for uh, a better weld joint what you need to do is bevel these corners i don't know if you can see that there but i took this corner off every single piece here and uh, when i laid it up it gives it space for the weld to go so it just makes it a little bit stronger weld so just to prep your material is a ahead of time is a little bit better so anyway, let's uh, continue. And we're going nuts. All right, everything is finished. Got the stand done. I even welded up the chip tray here. Uh, fits in its home pretty good. I'm happy with that so far. It does feel just a little bit crowded with those toolboxes there. But I think once the mill and everything's there, it'll kind of kind of even out. Um, one thing right here because of this post here i am about five inches away from the wall my ocd wants me to notch that right there to push it in but i don't know i might have to resist that urge to notch that corner and just leave it right there give me a little bit more room a little bit more room right there and move over but leave that for another day uh i gotta figure out how i'm gonna get the mill on top of that because this is about three feet tall to that top edge and there's no room for the uh, engine hoist to get in there, but I'll figure it out. So uh, what I gotta do right now is paint it, 
Gonna do that. Uh, I gotta drill a hole. If I do want to run some coolant, I gonna need a drain hole in here somewhere. So to do that too, and then I have to build my control box and uh, put everything together. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, next time you see this, hopefully there's a lot more progress. So anyway, thank you for watching.